I think we need to go faster and do more implementation in the industry. We can make a significant contribution to uh, the net zero target that the world is after. We will not get there by harmonizing with nature, but by modernizing. I see technology and engineering delivering affordable and accessible electricity to all. The most important thing in tackling climate change is to start acting now. Urgency. Go ahead and make practical steps to reduce CO2 emissions in our energy mix. We need to be open for all kinds of technological solutions, including nuclear power, including CCS. Using the benefits and harnessing the benefits of technology and engineering, a lot of solutions and innovations that are being developed across the world. The great energy debate. The great energy debate. Welcome to the great energy debate. Let's get talking, guys. This is from Vicky van der Togt, and they are saying, shall we not ban fossil fuels altogether? 80% of the world energy comes from fossil fuels and it, there is no energy source readily available uh, to scale up to take over that role now. Nuclear power, maybe. I'm very much in favor of nuclear. How can we transition in countries that are still not in the grid without going through the fossil fuel path and just going straight to the renewables so that they don't have to have this debate in 20 years time? I definitely think that yeah, microgrids is a definite way for um, places like Nigeria to move forward with the energy, solving the energy problem about accessibility. The best thing about the great energy debate was seeing companies and activists on the same table discussing a very relevant subject, climate change and energy transition. Many people think this isn't a debate and believe the only solution to the climate emergency is ban shell from existence. I think the key trick is to leverage the skill and scale of that company to speed up the energy transition rather than to ban the company. I thought the nicest part was the interactive aspect of it. It made the audience feel engaged and made me feel like I was a part of this debate. So I feel like we've got some heat going on. People want to ask questions. Why are we having this debate in 2019 when we know about this issue since 1988? Should we let oil and gas companies take the lead in the energy transition knowing that they have uh, shareholders profit maximization on the top of their agenda. Typically investments in oil and gas have much higher returns than renewables. How would oil and gas companies be able to leverage their expertise to drive similar returns on renewables? Business has a big role to play in creating the future, but it does need to produce things that customers want to buy. And so it's an interplay between society, government and business that needs to get this energy transition going. There's a lot of talk about switching to renewables and we should accelerate. A lot of critical materials are running out in 10, 20 years. The material issue, scarcity or you know, uh, impact on the environment is a very, very difficult and important and critical thing to research and to solve. So we need to diversify and find new ways new, and do research to reduce the materials that you need for each and every energy technology. To tackle climate change, I think bigger steps should be made by the government and more trust should be put in young people. We all have a part to play in it and we just need to look forward and move towards a better future. I think if we're going to reach the ambitious goals that we have set for 2050, whether that's in the UK or the Paris Agreement, we have to somehow get carbon negative or carbon neutral energy sources. Clearly been a great night of debate. Thank you so much and we'll hopefully see you guys soon. The conversation should continue.